To gather the historical data needed to make future comparisons, a large number of workpieces are collected and various features are measured whenever a job is set up and run for the first time. This is called a capability study. The purpose of the capability study is to reveal the ability of a machine to produce many workpieces within the required tolerances. The capability study determines the amount of normal random variation which can be expected to appear on a machine. If we were to run 1,000 parts in the capability study, then place each part into a stack that represents its size, we would have several large stacks in the middle and a number of smaller stacks at each side. This stacking of parts by size can be represented in a chart called a histogram. Each bar in the histogram represents a stack of parts. This stack in the middle represents all the parts which were made exactly to size. The stacks on each side represent features which were either larger or smaller than the nominal dimension. If we draw a line across the tops of these stacks, we will see that a bell-shaped curve is produced. There are two important characteristics of the bell curve that you must understand. The first characteristic is the location of the center of the curve, which indicates the center of the process. This is the average of the measurements taken. The process should be centered at, or very near, the nominal dimension specified in the part print. The second characteristic is the width of the curve, which reflects the random variation of the process. The dimensions were not all the same. Some were larger and some were smaller than the nominal dimension specified in the print. The width of the curve at the bottom tells us the range of variation, how much larger or smaller those dimensions were. By using these statistics, we can predict the range of sizes within which most parts will fall when produced on this machine. This type of bell curve is typical of most machining processes. As long as the machine is operating in control at the time of the capability study, the curve will represent the normal distribution of the variation from part to part.